Good evening, listeners. Sam Brightside. He is the author of Strong by Sam. Sam, thank you for joining us today. Hey, thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. So what is Strong by Sam? <laughs> Stronger by Sam. So I think it would be uh, beneficial for the listeners. I'll, let me take you back to uh, March of this year. So I used to be a... Uh, in, in-house personal trainer, the whole the whole nine yards, group classes, one-on-ones, you name it. I've been certified since I was 18 and working that field while going through college. Now, of course, now, you know, with the virus situation going on, that no longer becomes an option for me. And, you know, I also can't do jujitsu at this time, so I want to put my focus elsewhere. And I started just, you know, I wanted to keep building my skills, the idea of 1% better every day. So I continue to make programs and I realized there was an opportunity in here, so I, you know, I worked with a business coach that I was recommended to, and you know, the Stronger by Sam was born. I was able to figure out a way to bring my level of high coaching to the online platform, and I, I am very proud of what I bring to the table nowadays with Stronger by Sam LLC. That is awesome. I was going to say we love better, you know, family-owned businesses that, you know, people are uh, pulling up by their own bootstraps, and especially one like yours where you're changing lives, and uh, it's a really benefit to your uh, your subscribers. 100%. I looked at it, I mean, of course there's, there's a financial opportunity here, but I looked at it more as, okay, what do you want to do with yourself? I mean, there is only so much financially you can do with the in-person stuff, but I looked at it more in the idea of that, okay, if I work online, I could theoretically touch infinitely more lives than I ever could by working in a single county in New Jersey. It's just, I love the people I worked with, but it was just the idea that I can do, I, my reach can go so much further. I think, I, was, I think I'm in like seven or eight different states. I don't, can't really count the top of my head right now, but in a short amount of time, I was able to conquer a lot of land, and it was just, you know, I'm thinking if I can do this during this uh, horrible time that we're all facing, you know, what can I possibly do when everything's back to normal, when I have all the resources? People are fully employed when the gyms are open. It just, you know, the sky is really the limit. And I'm, I'm realizing new things every day and continuing to learn. And uh, it's been a great journey so far. Many great connections. I, I love making positive connections with people, and uh, and keeping on the journey. I, I just look to help people at the end of the day. That's that's really. I'm I'm trying to do this up out of uh, you know the goodness of my heart. Definitely. I was going to say that's the great thing about your program, along with uh, technology, being able to uh, reach more people. You're being able to help more people because of your program. I mean, I understand you're getting some amazing results. Yeah, people, you know, if, if I really tell people what well, my job is not only to keep you accountable for your actions, but I want it so that if you put in 100% effort, you should expect those results back and then some. The problem that a lot of people will face, unfortunately, and there's not really an answer for it, is that if you don't, you know, I can do everything for you. I can make the best program, best nutrition, everything in the world, but if, if you don't show up and you don't, you know, put in the effort, well, nothing's going to happen. There's no magic answer. You know, hiring me is not going to change that. I'm here to give you the best, most efficient path possible and encouraging you along this journey. And, you know, so it does come down to how much you can really keep people accountable for their actions. But, yeah, the people who have and stuck through it have had some incredible results. And you know, I don't want to name drop anyone because I don't want to wait for anyone out. But it's been, a, it's been a fantastic time. And, you know, like I said, connecting with some amazing people thus far. I was going to say, it's been great how you're educating your people. But where did you get your education from? Right on. So I've been doing this for about three years. Uh, New Health Strength is my background uh, in person, which is a local um, local gym uh, founded by Kyle Newell, a great friend of mine. Um, gave me a very nice opportunity back then when I was looking for an internship. So I got my NASM, my NASM National Academy Sports Medicine certification when I was 18 while going through college. Um, and I was looking for a part-time internship, and I was looking and I was like, okay, well, what can I go for before I go back to school in the fall? I need part-time, you know, personal training. I want some experience in the real world. And he said, you know, I can't pay you any money, but I guarantee you you can learn here, more here than you will anywhere else. And when you come back, you'll have a job. I'm like, okay, that sounds like, a, you know what, the knowledge is better than the money, in my opinion, right now. It's an investment in myself. So I went for it, and I learned a tremendous amount from going on the field, you know. And I, I know he gave me the job within a couple of weeks, actually, and it just, you know, worked through, worked through college over there and the switch school did at one point. But um, the actual job after graduating in the uh, spring, um, so I'm, at, I'm only 22 right now, but uh, 
you know, I know there's always more, there's always more to learn. I'm never going to be claiming to be a world renowned expert in anything. I know there's always going to be more, you know, there's always more knowledge. There's always new discoveries out there. Um, I just do my best to bring the best for everybody and make sure that of course I keep people safe and I bring them the best results possible. That's really what matters. Excellent. So you mentioned your background with personal training, but nowadays you're doing the online coaching. What is the difference between personal training and online coaching? <laughs> That's yeah, one of the Q&As on my website. I wrote it down, so I, for, I forgot my answer to that. But essentially, the, the main thing is, well, let's bring it back a few months, you know, a handful of months ago. So the main thing was, well, I, how can I bring my level of in-person service to an online platform where I can't interact with people? I can't have that tactile function feedback. Well, you have to figure out a few – there's actually a few steps to the system, and initially I didn't have all of it. It was as simple as me writing programs at first and, you know, video calling people, but – you can only do that with so many people, and, and the amount of time you're spending, it kind of becomes hard to coordinate. But essentially, I created a way where I have my own system where I can say, okay, well, everyone's a different individual that requires different stimuluses to get them to where they want to be, right? I think we can all agree upon that. I don't like the idea that everybody runs within this cookie-cutter format of, you know, you need to do A, B, C, and your month one pro client, so you get the month one standard program. I think it's kind of garbage. I, I think there is... A lot of people, it's very easy to make money in fitness this way, and it really disgusts me as someone who, you know, prides themselves in their ethics and willingness to help people. So I have figured out a way, which wasn't easy, but I created my own system. I take people to losing assessments to be a, uh, excuse me, I, maybe I'm not sure if you sneeze, but never mind. <laughs> um, I found, I figured out a way where I can take people through, you know, systemized movement systems that all correspond to how I program movements for them. And I take their background and, you know, medical history and what's worked for them in the past, and I build out their nutrition, their meals, and everything of that nature. And, of course, the biggest part is, well, your first pancake's never going to be the perfect one. It's impossible for me to say that, hey, I'm going to make this for you, and this will be perfect. No, you're going to do it, and I'm going to be very likely, and I'm going to become very good not to toot my own horn and making it good the first time around. But the odds are things might need some adjustment. You might tell me, James, you might tell me, hey, this one, this exercise is too hard, but this one's too easy. I have to go in there. I have to make those adjustments. Why would you do something that's not meant for you? We tweak it around. And then when I build more things, I have more knowledge so I can continue to build it more catered towards exactly what people need. The idea of creating things for exactly what people need is not popular because it's not as scalable as to just make automated programs that just, you know, do whatever and get whatever results. But I rather work with less people at a higher quality and work with a whole bunch of people and sacrifice, you know, the ethics of it, if that makes sense. Definitely. It makes a lot of sense. The personalized touch, it sounds like it's really making a difference. It's really connecting you with your clients and giving them the things that they need, like you said, and not just the uh, cookie cutter, uh, basic stuff where it's more individualized and the level that they need. Absolutely, man. You got it right on the nail. Nail on the head. So how does online training work? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to play a politic and dodge the question. <laughs> I apologize. I kind of went on a separate tangent. Um, but how does online training work nowadays? So, yeah, I'll take them through, you know, the assessments. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create a program for you, and you're going to follow through with it on your own. I'm going to set you up with all the tools you need and make sure you are here and you, can, you have all the resources in your, in your uh, back pocket that you can do it, including the exercise library, which I'm currently developing, so you can refer to it, all the stuff that I've created, so you can make sure, hey, I'm doing these movements correctly. You have videos that say, hey, okay, this is an idea, but you can always have 24-7 access to me. So essentially it's, you know, the idea that, hey, I'm, I can't, it's impossible for me to be there 24-7 for everybody, like, right, right in front of them. But I'm always available virtually. So if anybody always has questions, they can always ask me if they, have, if they need any motivation, if they need anything of that nature, they reach out to me. But the simple is really I create the stuff for them, they follow through, and we adapt the game plan and continue to move forward until the results are achieved, if that makes sense. Yeah, it sounds phenomenal. I mean, it sounds like that's a way that uh, the programs, as uh, you go along and as uh, you have more clients, it's just an improvement each time that you work with somebody. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly that. I think, you know, and people will do the whole Zoom thing. I personally am not a whole fan of it, meaning, and to, to give more detail, the idea of hopping on a virtual thing, 
and like, hey, you know, do it this way, and then it becomes difficult to use them adjusting the camera. I've done it. It's okay if people really want to do it. I can, you know, I give it a shot, but I, I always tell them, listen, it, it's, it's always going to be better off. You know, follow through, follow the videos. If you need help on a certain movement, you don't feel 100% confident, I'm here for you. Let's make sure you're 100% confident in doing things, because if you're not, then it's not going to work out in the long run. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm still adapting and figuring out the absolute best way to do it, but I can tell you without with absolute certainty that this is going to be the way things go in the future. It's infinitely more affordable just based off the fact that you can work with a lot more people, and I don't have to be in a gym at 7 a.m., you know, at this particular location, only focusing on a single individual at a time. I can have a lot more people working, working with me, but I can give them that same level quality service. And you get more. The fact that you have access to me all the time virtually, the fact that you have the nutrition. Most personal trainers will, quite frankly, and not, not to offend anybody, they're going to count the 10, hand your water bottle, and tell you good job. And, you know, what you price that at is, is, you know, whatever that's worth to you. But I think there is definitely a time and place for that. People who are, you know, being people who are insecure, people coming off catastrophic injuries who really need that. Physical therapy is a beautiful example of that. I think that should always be in person. But for the general person who wants to get in shape, wants to take their life back, increase energy, increase confidence, I think this is the most sensible way to, to streamline your way to your goals. We only have so much time on this earth, so why, why would we wait around and try to figure it out on ourselves? People already figured it out. I know what I'm doing. I'm still learning every day. I'm the professional. Let me take care of it, and let's bring you on that path, and let's get you toward your, towards your goals. We're going to live a happier, longer, more quality life. So it sounds like you're really different from the other coaches. I, I mean, I try to differentiate myself because, you know, if, if everyone, the fact is not everyone's successful, and if I was like everyone else, then why would people want to work with me? The, the reason you work, with, you work with me is to get, you know, to get me at the end of the day, the different touch. If you, if some people, I'm not going to lie, they don't vibe with me, and, and it doesn't work out all that well, and I'm just like, hey, you know what, I, I kind of, I'm pretty good at screening that out in advance, but, you know, the people, there's always going to be that case scenario, but. Yeah, I try to be different. I'm trying to, you know, reinvent different ways to do things more efficiently, but I never want to sacrifice the client experience. I could easily make, you know, 12 programs and just send them out to my clients, and I'd save myself so much time. But I'd be sacrificing the experience for them. I'd be sacrificing their results. I wouldn't do that. I'm, you know, me creating an exercise library, so we're all, we're all on a consistent page, exactly how to do it, high-level production and everything, the whole nine yards, this increases the quality of service. It does save me time, but it makes it so, hey, you can stream this on your TV, on your laptop, phone, tablet, wherever. You have, on the, you have full access to it. This is an incredible resource. This increases the level of service. So I'm always looking for ways to, you know, bring it to the next level. I'm, I'm, I'm always grateful, but I'm never satisfied. I know there's always more I can do to continue to uh, improve upon. That is awesome. I was going to say that's great how you're always willing to learn and willing to uh, improve, and that's an important thing because, unfortunately, some trainers, they get stuck in their ways. They go, oh, we used to do it this way in the 70s or 80s or 90s or 2000s, and they want to stick to it. Free UFC when it was like, yo, this is as good as it gets. This is striking. This is martial arts. And then you introduced racy jujitsu, and now the whole world gets turned on their head. Now we got to figure out this grappling thing, and what's the triangle choke, and now we got to figure out how to pass a guard, and blah blah blah. And then you have you don't know what you don't know until, and you should never be set your ways. Always assume that there's someone out there smarter than you, and always assume that there's more out there to learn, and be optimistic. You know, get you know, keep learning one percent better every day. Is what I always say. So it's a uh, I'm 22, man. There's no way I could ever be an expert at this young of an age. I think I'm damn smart. I think I'm pretty good at what I do. Don't mind. I don't mind saying, but I know there's always going to be more to learn. There's always going to be an extra thing I can bring or deliver. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's no reason I'm gonna I'm gonna you know satisfy be satisfied at a single level of things. There's always the next level. Definitely. And you mentioned about the uh, diet and nutrition aspect of it. Uh, tell us, uh, why is it so important to understand the metabolic aspect of science? It's extremely important. So let me explain. So when you're looking at somebody, you know, there is a million factors that go into nutrition. Nutrition is an infinitely more complicated part of the job because people may have background conditions, and those, are, those could be as extensive as people with bariatric, you know, surgery or people with, you know, high, you know higher metabolism or, um, you know, hypothyroid and things. So under getting, having a baseline, and, and the fact is certain people have such complicated situations that it's, it's better to prefer them to people who are specialists in that area. But knowing what you're putting in your body in general is 
a generally good idea. If you like, think of it if you're a car, right? Would you just put in like any old gasoline if you're drying a Lamborghini? No, you want to put in the premium. You want to put in the best thing. You look on top, you know, if you look at the bread that's in your fridge and you see a laundry list full of ingredients, you're like, why is it all this ingredients? I thought bread only has like wheat, flour, uh, you know, up, like five ingredients. So you want to make sure you're having putting quality things in your body, which blows my mind when I see people who have like these, you know, fat burner supplements and it's like, do you even know where this is manufactured? Do you understand what's, you know, you're actually doing to your body? Things that are putting you in instant ketosis to throw up through this little pill you take twice. This is just not, your body is not meant for this stuff. We need whole natural approaches. I'm a strong believer in, you know, moderation within reason, right? You know, there's, there's, you know, I live in New Jersey. Pizza and bagels here are as good as it gets. I'm not sure where you're from, my friend, but don't argue with me. I'm just I'm very passionate about this point. Me and New York are very top neck and neck for this position. People who are listening from the tri-state will understand. Um, but there's no reason we should have to completely cut these things out. The people who completely deprive themselves of certain foods, well, you know, unless you're a high-level professional athlete, I don't think there's a real reason to do that. We have to be able to enjoy life. We don't need to live this monk lifestyle for normal people. I, I will not lie. There are people who thrive under that environment. However, you need to be able to learn how to have that self-discipline that say, like, hey, you know, it is my birthday. You know, we could have a little bit of this, but let's not go overboard. You know, I'm trying to do this. These are my goals. It's really a matter of, you know, Humans are very much make decisions based off emotions, and that could be dangerous in the long run. You know, we want immediate gratification, but logic is really the strongest aspect because we, even though we know, hey, you know, this is not good for us, but it tastes good, so we're going to keep eating it, we understand, hey, if I continue to have this Burger King, well, this is not going to end well for me in a handful of years. So um, I think I did stream a little further off the question. I apologize if I did. Um, That's okay. So I, did I get my basic just the point uh, – down for you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So the important – no, it's all good. So the important question is, does fitness improve someone's quality of life? And it sounds like it, the answer is going to be yes, I would think. You would think correctly. There is there's no doubt about it. I, I tell people – people sometimes will ask me some basic questions. One of them I like to share uh, is, how do I improve my energy? You know, I'm, I'm sluggish. I'm tired all the time. I work at the 9-to-5 desk job. What do I do? Move. You need to start movement. Circulation in the body. Get up, take a walk, stretch a little bit, you know, walk around the office, whatever it takes. Once you start incorporating movement in your life in general, you should feel more energy. This is your body waking up. Your hormones are, go, are, are changing up and everything depending upon what you're doing, time of days and stuff. But once we start getting into the sedentary schedule that we're never really making any improvements, it, it just it, it's so unfortunate because so many people just don't understand that the best thing they can do is simply get started. People will see that energy immediately once they start training. That's every every one of my clients so far has always told me, "Hey, my energy is getting so much better. This is really weird." I'm like. Yes, now we're, we're moving, we're exercising, and I make sure, you know, no one's going on anything crazy, you know, from the get-go, right? Because my idea is, much like a doctor, do no harm. So I want to make sure that even though I know some people can hand, listen, handle the Navy SEAL style stuff, I don't want to throw them into the ringer. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather do an extra warm-up set than hurt ourselves on, like, a personal record. So I want to make sure, hey, we're doing something that's good for us, and we can build up to there. There's no rush. But let's, let's build up to there. You're doing better than 99% of the people because 99% of people aren't going to be willing to take that first step and get out of their comfort zone. It doesn't have to be all exactly. that scary. It can go at your own level. But, yes, movements can be the best thing for increasing your energy. Fitness in general, which incorporates nutrition, incorporates training, incorporates mindset, incorporates balance of life, this is all going to be extremely beneficial, not only for the quality of life, but your longevity. You know, you can live a life that's short, and you can live a life that's, you know, it's not all that great. But if, you, if, if you're going to tell me, hey, if I just follow these things that don't take me all that long, and I just have some self-discipline, some balance, and I get to talk to a cool coach along the way, and I can live a longer, happier life, let's do this, absolutely. And there's a lot of unfortunate and miserable diseases we can avoid along the way. I've seen some people in horrible places, and it, it, it bums me out because these people waited, unfortunately, too late. You know, the best time to get started is the second you realize, hey, maybe I should do something about this. And, and I'm, you never want to wait till it's too late. You literally never know what tomorrow's going to bring. I was in, I was in jujitsu, and we were making a joke like, oh, what's going on with this virus situation? And then within a week, academies closed. Within a week, I can't go to the grocery, toilet paper. We don't know what's going on. 
on it. And, and I, you know, it, it was crazy. So you, so you don't wait to start. It's, that's why I tell people, I mean, the, the recency bias to that example, of course, but just in general, like, just get started, do something, get a little out of your comfort zone. I'm here to make that process as smooth and transitional as possible so that, you know, it's, it, I just want to help people, man. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> So speaking about getting started, I understand that you offer a uh, free initial consult. Absolutely. Why would I, I think that the idea of the consultation should be more of an invitational, like, hey, we're going to have a conversation. I want to get to know you. It's actually my consultations are a little different. I kind of run a two-way screening process because the coaching goes two ways, you know. Someone, you know, if someone pays me a million dollars to work with them, but they are just the most unbearable people, and and they're just, it, it just doesn't become worth my time at certain points, right? So I want to make sure this person's hey, someone who actually wants to make a difference in their life, someone who's genuine, some someone they don't have to hold all my interest in everything, they don't have to be a jujitsu guy or anything, but you know, they have to be. A, I want them to be a good person. I want you know if they want to make that difference, that's pretty, that's normally enough for it. Yes, free consultation, thirty minutes. I'm going to talk about the goals. We're going to make a game plan, and you know if, if it doesn't work out in between, you know I'm not sure if you're the right kind of person for this. You know I'll be happy to give people some free information. At the end of the day, I look at it more as it's a weird standpoint for business, but people say always be closing. I think of it as always be connecting. I always want to make positive social connections with people. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what kind of you know, nice people along the way. You tell me that it wouldn't be nicer if someone held the door open for you when you went to the, the food store. No, of course it would be great. So I always look to make those positive social connections. But, yep, 30-minute free consultation. I offer it for anybody who is interested. So that's great. You start out with the uh, free consultation, and then I understand you have a satisfaction guaranteed? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, that's I, – I've never had somebody – who has disliked my service. I've had people, and I won't lie, there are people who have had some unfortunate situations, especially recently with unemployment, and it's just like, oh, well, I can't continue. I'm like, hey, listen, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop real quick, and we can resume whenever you're ready to come back up. I, I know, you know we're in a contract for three months, but no worries. We're just going to go and move forward whenever you're ready. Don't sweat it. I'm going to do right by people. I, I feel like... I don't, want, I don't ever want to take the business to a point where I can remove that human aspect. I want to keep as much of the human aspect in there as possible while maintaining, you know, the most amount of, uh, you know, efficiency with my time. You know, making those videos, for example, was a great way of me to, uh, you know, a great use of my time because now I don't have to do those videos anymore and explain over a video call unless people specifically need me to. On the other hand, you know, people who – you know, I, I don't want to be like, oh, sorry, talk to my customer service agent. Oh, hang on, email three to five business days. Well, no. Hey, listen, you need – I'm sorry. Oh, I, your kid needs a surgery? Listen, I got you. I'm going to refund you for this month. Take care of that. I know you're interested. Come back when you're ready. I want to keep that, you know, that small business feel into something that's ever expanding and growing. You know what I'm saying? I always want to pride myself on being a good human being, but, you know, with morals at the end of the day. Sounds great. It sounds like Stronger by Sam is something that our listeners should check out and definitely get involved with. So, uh, Sam, before we let you go, where on social media, where on the web can they find out more about you and your program? Sure. appreciate. Hey, man, I appreciate you calling up and, and sending this up with me. StrongerbySam.com for everything. Um, Instagram, Stronger by Sam. Facebook page, Stronger by Sam LLC. And listen, anyone who's looking to make that positive change in their life, you know, I'm willing to have a, a conversation and, and see how I can help you guys out. You know, I really want to help as many people as possible. That's the mission. So, you know, anyone who wants to reach out and support, I appreciate you and I love you all. So, James, I appreciate you uh, spending the time with me. I thank you. Uh, nice time on this uh, Wednesday evening. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, my friend. 